In today's video, we will see how blend, erase, and palette tools work. Let's start with blend tool. Blend tool is situated right under paint tool. It contains all the folders and brushes from paint tool, just with the function of blending. Now, to see how blend tool works, draw something with two different colors, then select a blending brush of your choice. Try to blend them together. Each brush is the same as its counterpart paint brush. It will have the same effect as the paint brush just in blending mode. You can also adjust the blend setting by clicking on the setting button that has replaced the palette button. Adjustment options you have are, blur, pull, and flow. Each setting affects the brush differently. Next, we have erase tool. Let's draw something to see how erase tool work. Erase tool works the same as blend and paint tool, with the function erase. You have all the same brush and all the same brush settings. But erase tool does not have a separate settings button like blend tool. Different brushes will have different erase effect. The next three tools affect the above three tools. Size tool lets you adjust the size, angle, and blending option for the brushes, whether paint, blend, or erase tool. You also have a brush setting button at the bottom of the menu. You can also change the size by clicking and dragging the size button vertically. Next we have color palette. Click on the color button to access the palette. Color palette has three parts, the navigation bar, the color wheel, and the palette. On the color wheel, we have a color selection box with different values of the selected hue. You can select the color and add it into your color palette below, by clicking on the plus sign here. You can also click and drag a color outside of the palette to remove it. By adding different colors, you can create your own custom palette. The ring outside the color selection box is called a hue selector. You can select different hues by clicking or clicking and dragging your pointer on the ring. The button on the ring is known as the luminosity lock. When the button is unlocked, the color selection will move according to the default brightness of the selected hue. If you want your hue to have the same value as the previously selected color, you can apply luminosity lock by clicking on the button. On the navigation bar, you have color picker, your current color, your previously selected color, and the last selected color from the color palette. The last button on the nav bar is color mode settings. In color mode settings, you have different color modes. If you have a hex code of color, you can input it here and click on plus sign to add it on the palette. Also you can set a color range for a color picker. To get more palette options, you can click on the three dots above the palette. Here you have dock palette, clear, rename, open, share, and save. If you want to add a saved palette, click on the open and pick the palette you want. You can also create a palette through your pictures by importing it by clicking on plus sign and also by searching a picture from Infinite Painter System. To delete a saved palette, you can long press on the palette and press delete. If you want to dock the color wheel on the screen, you can do this by using two fingers to long press and drag it to the screen. And pinch to zoom in or zoom out, and to remove it again long press with two fingers and drag it to the X. You can also dock the color palette, but you have to move the drawing toolbar out of the way by long press and dragging the toolbar. This is because color palette only docks on the side and we can't move it. You can dock the color palette by clicking on the color tool and then select the three dots above the color palette. Now click on the dock palette button. You can arrange the colors as you want by pressing the color and moving them to the desired position. And if you want to undock the color palette, just click on the color tool again, select the three dots, and click on the dock palette button. Finally, we have opacity tool, this let you adjust the opacity, flow, and softness of the selected color. You can also adjust opacity by clicking and dragging the opacity buttons. If you want to adjust the brightness of the color without opening the color tool, click and drag the color tool vertically. You can also click and drag the color tool on the screen to use it as a color picker. That's it for this video, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe.